if someone four months ago was like, hey Rosie, did you know that by staying inside and drinking, you could be saving lives? I'd be like, sign me up, sign me up. So with that being said, today's video is brought to you by the Drizzly app. Drizzly is an amazing delivery app where you can order spirits, beer, and wine right to your home, which is amazing because we're not supposed to leave the house right now. And I just feel really good that I can save lives by drinking at home. So I'm gonna give you guys a code, which is 99 bottles. Remember that song? 99 bottles of beer on the wall, 99 bottles of beer, 99 bottles of wine at my house, 99 bottles of wine. Use that code to get up to $5 off your first Drizzly order. So yeah, you can be just like me, drinking at home, saving lives. If, hold on. If you want to. If you want to save a life. Let's try to say this next part as fast as possible. I'm gonna leave a link direct. I'm gonna link. I'm, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below so you can download it directly to your phone. <sighs> oh, oh. Enjoy this video. <laughs> Listen carefully as our menu options may have changed. I'm sure Congratulations, Sid, for a $100 Walmart gift card. In order to the line and one of our customer care representatives will be with you shortly. Juniper, soft as fur, in the universe. Juniper, Juniper, Juniper. Do they block me? <laughs> Congratulations, you've been selected for a $100 Walmart gift card. People calling, how can I help you? Yeah, hello. I had a missed call from this number. Oh, I, did I win some sort of prize or something? Um, yes, yeah, congratulate you. I just want to congratulate you. Your number has been tied to receive $100 in rewards. Oh my god, for what? For like a gas card or something like that? Or TJ Maxx? Gift card, a shopping gift card. Oh, what store? What store? What store? What store? What the store? Okay, so what's the catch? I know there's a catch. I know there's a catch. I know there's a catch. Oh, catch. There is no contract, no membership, no strings attached. Oh, I love no strings attached. You just need to take care of your side is one time shipping, activation, and handling fee. Oh, well, there's the, well, there's the catch there, John. What's your name again? Do what? Oh, Austin, sorry. Sound like Jonathan, my bad. All right, so the catch is that, now what? You need me to pay, uh, what, $100 for shipping? Not at all. You just have to pay one time $4.95. $4.95? How about, um, what if I trade you for something else? You, not at all. You are going to provide your confirmation number. So the day when we charge you $4.95, you won't be able to see on your statement with the company's name and the policy number. It's not gonna be false. You're gonna get a confirmation number for that. All right, what's my and confirmation number? I'll take it, I'll go ahead and take it then. Uh, Excuse me. What you want to for the dollar gift card is just one time $4.95. Can you tell me what store it's for? So Stater Brothers or something like that? Hello? Yes ma'am, would you like to claim it? Yeah, I'll, I'll claim it. What do I gotta do? Just like yell out loud like, I claim this card. I claim this offer. So is that, I claim the $100 gift card to Stater Brothers. Right? Great. So you need to pay $4.95. So how would you like to pay? Uh, well, I can mail you uh, some cash, probably, like, you know, could do something like that, because I, I ain't got no money on my credit card, nothing like that, so probably going to have to mail you some cash. For verification, you can use a card with no money on it. I've also got $5 that left on a Chuck E. Cheese card, too. As good as, like, $10 in tokens. See, what they're paying is this one time, $4.95. Sure, I'm just wondering, do you take, can I, can I trade you my Chuck E. Cheese card? It's got about $10 worth of tokens on there. I feel like if you could use it, you could probably, you know, get three three spider rings at the end of the day. Maybe one of those Chinese finger traps. 
Yes, so which car do you have? A Visa or Master? Uh, it's a it's a Chucky. It's a Visa card or Master card? Yeah, Chucky. No. Can I borrow five dollars from you? Can you, use your, you can use your family member's card if you want to. Oh, you're telling me to be sneaky. You want me to go find my husband's card and use it without asking him? You trying to cause problems in my household? Uh, I'm not about to go behind my husband's back. You're asking me. You're asking me to change my morals here. I ain't about to go behind my husband's back and take five dollars without asking him. Huh? Huh? Do you want the $100 gift card? Oh, yeah, I done told you. I already said I claim the $100 gift card. I'm claiming it. Very fine with the numbers. What is the card number? All right, the last name is Cheese. First name is Chucky. That's my husband. 1973942472. Oh. I was not able to catch you. Can you repeat what are the numbers? What are the numbers? What are the card numbers? Oh, uh, 4195342. You are so fast though. I'm not able to hear you properly. Oh, you should try listening slower. You should try listening slower. Is it a Visa card or MasterCard? It starts with a four. Where do you think? It's a Visa card. All right, well, you answered your own question there now, didn't you? You didn't even have to ask me that nonsense question. Are you ready? Yep. 419 4197393472. Hello? So it's 419 Something like right? that, sure. Yeah, sure, go for it. And when does the card expire? Uh, in the future. My future or your future? Whose future? Uh, well, we're living when in a simulation, so I don't really know. Let's just do like January 24th. All right. In order to print on the face of the card, what is your first name and your last name? The last name is Cheese. C-H-E-E-S-E. -E -E, first name, Chucky. Tracy, is it your first name, Tracy? No, my husband's name is Chuck. His middle initial is E and his last name is Cheese. Our last name is Cheese. Three, T-R-E-E. -E. No, Cheese, like Cheddar or Brie or Swiss. Hello? And I just want to ask you, are you sure that you read, like you have your card handy with you? Yes. Oh my God. When I went, went straight. Yes. Went I... Yes, for the third time, yes. Alright. I oh, thought it. Okay. Alright. So without, without wasting time, without wasting your precious time, I'm going to give you a confirmation number. Alright, go for it. I have your confirmation number. I'm going to delete your information from my system. Okay, okay, my lord. This is taking a long ass time. Let's get to it. Yeah, hold the line for 30 seconds, okay? 30? Can you hold the line? I guess. Make it quick. Okay, I currently muted him. There's a website that generates fake credit card numbers that go through. And uh, the address I gave him is the police station. So he's probably a little confused. All right, let's unmute this and like, scream. <laughs> Hello? Hello, hello, hello. I'm just gonna hang up and we'll call him back to someone else. Oh yeah, maybe I'll be drunk. Good idea. Thank you very much for calling. This is Kevin. How may I help you? Hi, Kevin. I just had a missed call from this number and I'm wondering what it's about. Today you called us on our anniversary. That is the reason we called you, maybe. On what? So on, your in on your anniversary? Yes. What, where are you at a